みだよみドミアルカスガミギーダー Hey little gators! Today I'm playing in the park with my dog buddy! But he ran off, and now I don't know where he is. Hey, little gator, you look worried. Do you need some help? Yes, officer. I I'm Gusty Gummy Gator, and I'm looking for my dog Buddy. He just ran off so fast, and, and now I can't find him. Nice to meet you, Gus. I'm Police Officer Sanders, and this is my canine partner, Rocky. <laughs> We can help you find your lost buddy. You can? Your dog looks like he can run really fast, so catching up to Buddy should be easy. Actually, Gus, Rocky can use his nose to track Buddy's scent. <laughs> Do you have anything that smells like Buddy? That's so cool! Uh, all I have is his favorite ball. That's perfect, Gus! <laughs> oh, looks like he found something. He's telling us to go that way. Okay, let's go! Let's go. Look, Officer Sanders, Rocky found some paw prints on the ground. I think they're buddies. I think you're right, Gus. Let's follow them and see where they lead us. Oh, buddy, it's you. I've been looking for you all over the place. Look, Gus, it's another dog. I think he just wanted to play with her. You're right, Officer. Thanks for letting Rocky help me find Buddy. No problem, Gus. Attention, Officer Sanders. We need someone out at the school right away to help with a busy crosswalk. School lets out in 10 minutes. Did you hear that, Gus? They need me at the school. Do you and Buddy want to come with me in my police car? Woohoo! I've never ridden in a real police car before. Let's do it. That's so cool. I wish I had a police car too. Well, Gus, this is what police officers drive while they're on duty. If you grow up to be a police officer, you'll have one too. Now, yeah, rats, do you think we're going to make it to the school on time? Don't worry, Gus, we have plenty of time. But in cases of emergencies, our police cars are built to go really fast so we can respond quickly. Looking good! Okay, Gus, let's get to the school. Hey, that's a school bell. That means school's over, and a lot of kids will be walking home. You're right, Gus. I'm here to help kids cross the street safely and to let drivers know when to slow down. Hey, I see my friends walking over there. Whoa there, little gator, not so fast. It's important to only cross the street at crosswalks and to always be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, rats. I didn't notice I wasn't on the crosswalk. Thank you, Officer Sanders, you saved my tail. Be sure to look both ways before crossing the street. Looks like your friends know it's a great idea to cross the street in groups when possible. Thank you, officer! No problem, kids. And good job for walking. It's the safest way to cross the street. Looking good. Officer Sanders, we got a call about a kid named Peck who got lost when he went out in the woods. We need you there right away! Did you hear that, Gus? Someone needs our help. This is an emergency, so we need to go now! Oh, no! I think that's my friend Peck. Let's go! Whoa! Oh, what's that really loud noise I'm hearing? That's the siren. During emergencies, we turn these on to let people know they should clear the road. Wow, that's really loud! Whoa! We got here super fast! I hope Peck's okay. Come on, Gus. Let's go find him. Oh gosh, where am I? Help! Help! Can anybody hear me? Did you hear that, Officer Sanders? The voice is coming from that way. I sure did, Gus. Let's follow the echo. He needs our help. Peck, we found you! Gus, I was just doing some bird watching from home when suddenly I found myself here lost in the woods. Oh, Peck. That's why you have to be aware of your surroundings when you're outdoors. Thanks for finding me, officer. I'll be more careful next time. No problem, Peck. As police officers, it's our job to help kids in need. Come on, we'll take you back home in the police car. Oh gosh, thank you so much. I've never ridden in a real police car before. Woohoo! Police cars are super cool, Peck. Let's go!
Here we are, Peck. Back at your house. Thank you for the ride, Officer Sanders. I'm really grateful. No problem, Peck. Next time when you go outside, make sure to go with a parent or an adult. Sure thing, Officer. I have to go find my mom. She must be worried sick. Bye! <coughs> wow, I'm sure glad we helped Peck get home safe. Attention, Officer Sanders. Your shift is over. You're free to come back to the station. Copy that. Hold on a second. Where is that other officer calling you from? They're calling me from the police station. I'm headed that way now. Would you like to come see it? You bet I do! Check it out, Gus. This is the police station. This is where officers come to find out where they'll be each day and where people come to get help. This is so cool! I learned so much today, and now I wish I was a police officer. Tell you what, Gus. Let's see if you have what it takes to pass my quiz. The quiz? Woohoo! Let's do it! Okay, Gus. First question. What do police officers drive while on the job? Is it A, airplane, B, police car, or C, submarine? A police car. That's correct, Gus. Way to go. That's so cool. I wish I had a police car too. Well, Gus, this is what police officers drive while they're on duty. If you go to be a police officer, you'll have one too. Okay, Gus, next question. What's part of a police officer's job? Is it A, keep people safe, B, washing clothes, or C, selling ice cream? That's easy! A. Keep people safe! Right again, Gus. Way to go! Looking good! Here we are, Peck. Back at your house. Thank you for the ride, Officer Sanders. I'm really grateful. No problem, Peck. Next time when you go outside, make sure to go with a parent or an adult. Sure thing, Officer. Okay, it's time for question three. Which animal helps officers find clues? Is it A, a monkey, B, a dog, or C, a unicorn? Hmm. Is it a A, monkey? Sorry, Gus. The correct answer is B, dog. Rats. Rocky can use his nose to track Buddy's scent. <laughs> Do you have anything that smells like Buddy? All I have is his favorite ball. That's perfect, Gus. Oh, looks like he found something. He's telling us to go that way. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, next question. What is the safest way to cross the street? Is it A, walking, B, running, or C, riding a horse? Hmm. Is it B, running? Sorry, Gus. The correct answer is A, walking. Be sure to look both ways before crossing the street. Looks like your friends know it's a great idea to cross the street in groups when possible. Thank you, officer! No problem, kids. And good job for walking. It's the safest way to cross the street. Okay, Gus, this is the final question. Are you ready? Ready! Where should you go if you need help from the police? Is it A, the hospital, B, the zoo, or C, the police station? Hmm. I know. C, police station. That's correct, Gus. You passed the quiz. Woohoo! I knew that was the right answer. Check it out, Gus. This is the police station. This is where officers come to find out where they'll be each day and where people come to get help. This is so cool! Congratulations, Gus. You passed the quiz. Way to go! Thanks, officer. I knew I could do it. It looks like you have what it takes to be a police officer one day. Wow, little gators. Learning how to be a police officer and helping people was so much fun. We even got to ride in a police car. Do you want to be a police officer one day? Looking good. Thanks for watching my show, little gators. Time to go home and eat some gummies. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi, you little gators.
Peck's birthday today. Rats! I forgot to buy him a birthday present. The good news is I have my Super Submarine 9000! Woohoo! Let's see what we can get him at the bottom of the ocean. Let's go! Hiya, Mr. Turtle! I'm Gus the Gummy Gator. Hi, Gus. You can call me Tommy the Turtle. What are you doing here, Tommy? I'm in the middle of a race. I know it doesn't look like much, but all the other racers already went by. Well, better luck next time. Hey, do you know where I can find something to give my friend for his birthday? Oh, well, I heard of a shipwreck some distance from here. You can take this map. Thanks, Tommy. You're so nice. That's probably because we're both green, huh? Yeah. We are reptiles. We help each other out. Turtles, gators, lizards, that's what it's all about. We are reptiles, we help each other out. Turtles, gators, lizards, that's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah, it is. Thanks, Tommy. Bye. Bye, guys. Woohoo! Wow, little gators. Tommy the turtle gave me this awesome map to find the treasure. Let's take a look. All right, I think it's this way. Let's go! Hi, Miss Starfish. I'm Gusty Gummy Gator. Sorry to surprise you. Oh, yes, you scared me. I'm Sally the Starfish. What are you doing here, Gus? I'm looking for a treasure chest to give my friend Peck. What about you? Well, Gus, I live here, and I was just about to eat some yummy dinner. Oh, really? Like what? Sour gummy? of the treasure? Sure thing, Gus. You want to go? <gasps> that way. Thank you, Sally. Bye. Whoa, it's a shark, and he's huge. Hey, dude, I'm Simon the Shark. What's a little gator like you doing in these parts of the ocean? I'm looking for a treasure for my friend. Can you help me find it? No way, little dude. You're way out of luck. Aww. <laughs> just kidding, dude. Of course I can show you the way. All right! Whoa! Did that hurt you, Simon? Not at all, dude. I'm Simon the shark and my skin is really rough. I can take on anything because I'm really tough. I'm Simon the shark and my skin is really rough. I can take on anything because I'm really tough. Wow, I didn't know that. Anyways, to find the treasure, you'll want to go that way. Okay, bye, Simon. Actually, <laughs> the treasure is that way. <laughs> hmm, am I going the right way? It doesn't feel like it. Excuse me, Mr. Octopus. I think I'm lost. Can you tell me if I'm going the right way? Of course. Simon the shark told me to go this way. You talk to Simon? He's always pulling pranks on people. The real way you want to go is that way. Whoa, how did you do that? Oh, this? My ink lets me camouflage so I can hide. It's super convenient, I use it all the time. My ink lets me camouflage so I can hide. It's super convenient, I use it all the time. Looking good! Okay, thanks, bye! Bye, Gus! I think we're almost there. Oh, look, it's a pot of dolphins! Hi, I'm Diego, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Gus the Gummy Gator. I'm looking for a secret treasure. Do you know where it is? Treasure? I sure do. But first, you'll have to complete my challenge. A challenge? Yeah. If you can answer these five questions, I'll tell you where the treasure is. Okay, deal. First question. 
What type of animals are turtles? Are they A, mammals like monkeys, B, reptiles like lizards, or C, toy plushies? Hmm. Ooh. B, reptiles like me. We are reptiles, we help each other out. Turtles, gators, lizards, that's what it's all about. Okay, next question. What food do starfish eat? A, snails, B, plants, or C, gummies? Hmm. Ooh, I know, A, snails. Right again. I eat snails, what a delicious treat. They're crunchy and so yummy to eat. Next question. What type of skin do sharks have? A, rough like a rock, B, soft like a cloud, or C, sticky like slime? Mm. Uh. A, rough. Good job, Gus. I'm Simon the shark and my skin is really rough. I can take on anything because I'm really tough. Next question. What do octopuses use ink for? A, camouflage, B, swimming, or C, drawing pictures? Hmm. That's easy, A, camouflage. Right again, dude. My ink lets me camouflage so I can hide. It's super convenient, I use it all the time. Okay, final question. How do dolphins communicate? Is it A, barking, B, whistling, or C, sending a text message? B, whistling. Correct, Gus, way to go. You got all the questions right. Woohoo! Let's go get the treasure. Whoa! Look at the treasure. It's so nice and shiny. Yeah, Gus, you earned it. Peck's going to love this. I gotta go. I don't want to be late for the party. Okay, bye, Gus. Hey, Peck, sorry I'm late. Here, I got you this cool present. Wow, thanks, Gus, it's amazing. Yeah, I knew you'd like it. Happy birthday, Peck. Thank you for coming all this way to my birthday party. No problem, Peck. I hope you little gators had fun learning about underwater sea animals. Hey, Gus, let's go eat some cake. I'm hungry. Good idea, Peck. Okay, little gators, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye, you little gators. I just finished playing outside and I am hungry. Let's look in the pantry for a snack. Wow! Look at all these yummy snacks! What snack should I choose? There are raisins, peanuts, and gummies! These are my favorite! Yummy! These gummies are delicious! Gus, is that you digging around in those gummies again? Uh, yes, it's me. Don't forget, you have your dentist appointment today. What? Oh no, little gators. I need to clean my teeth before I go to the dentist. Come on. Okay, little gators. We just ate all those gummies. Now it's time to brush our teeth. First, let's grab our toothbrush. Now let's add some toothpaste. Time to brush, brush, brush. <laughs> Fresh. Let's go tell Mama we're done brushing our teeth. Mama! I just brushed my teeth and now my breath smells extra fresh. Well, that's great, Shook. Sounds like you're ready for your dentist appointment already. Woohoo! I like going to the dentist because I know my teeth are going to be super clean and healthy. My smile is going to be bigger than big guilt. Come on, little gators, let's go. I'm going to the dentist, going to the dentist, to 
get my gummy eaters fresh and clean. Hey there, Gus. It's been a while since we've seen you here. Hiya, Dr. Gomez. It sure has been a while. My mama told me I needed to get a checkup today, and I got super excited because my teeth are going to be extra clean. That's right, Gus. It's important to visit the dentist every six months to get rid of any germs or bacteria that can cause cavities. You mean I could have germs in my mouth right now? That's so yucky, Doc. Don't worry, Gus. We're going to take care of you. Take a seat on this chair. Looking good. I'm ready. OK, first I want to use this toothbrush to brush your teeth and get rid of any germs you may have missed. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Wow, Gus, I can see a lot of germs falling off. Have you been brushing your teeth? I feel I'm gonna wash my teeth every day. What was that, Gus? <coughs> what I was trying to say was, I try to brush my teeth every day, but sometimes I forget. Mm -mm. It's super important to brush your teeth twice a day for at least two minutes each time. Good news, Gus. The brushing part is all done. Now it's time to floss. Time to floss? You mean like the dance in that video game? No, no, Gus. I mean to floss your teeth with dental floss. We use this to get rid of those hard to reach foods stuck between your teeth. I get it now, let's do it. Let's start by cutting a piece of floss. Whoa, Gus, you got some really sticky food in here. Is that a piece of gummy? Uh-huh. <laughs> there we go. This food is starting to finally come off. You had a lot of food stuck in between your teeth, Gus, but I made sure to get it all cleaned up. How do your teeth feel? Wow, they feel so much better. My smile is super shiny! They are looking pretty good, Gus. There's just one more thing you need to do to make sure your smile is extra clean. What's that, Dr. Gomez? You need to rinse out your mouth with mouthwash. This gets rid of any extra bacteria in your mouth and makes your breath smell fresh. But do not drink it. Swish it in your mouth and spit it out. Oh! I want to try! Wow! My breath smells way better! You're right, Dr. Gomez. My breath smells fresh. In fact, my entire mouth feels clean. Thank you, Doctor! Now that your teeth are sparkly and clean, let's see what you learned today, Gus. It's time for a quiz. A quiz? First question, Gus. How much time should you spend brushing your teeth? Is it A, 10 seconds, B, 2 minutes, or C, 7 hours? Hmm, that's a tough one. What do you think, little gators? 2 minutes! 2 minutes, Gus. You're right, little gators. The answer is B, 2 minutes. Correct, Gus. Way to go. Time for the next question. What should you use to floss your teeth? Is it A, dental floss, B, candy, or C, spaghetti? Oh no, I forgot this one. Do you remember the answer, little gators? Dental floss, Gus. It's A, dental floss. Oh yeah, now I remember. The answer is A, dental floss. Right again, Gus, good job. It's time for the final question. Are you ready? Ready, Dr. Gomez! What should you use to rinse out your mouth after brushing and flossing your teeth? Is it A, orange juice, B, milk, or C, mouthwash? Hmm, this one is on the tip of my tongue. What do you think, little gators? It's mouthwash, Gus. Mouthwash. You're totally right. I know the answer, Dr. Gomez. It's C, mouthwash. Is that your final answer? Final answer! Congratulations, Gus. You passed the quiz. Woohoo! I knew we could do it. Way to go, little gators. Thanks for coming in for your cleaning, Gus. Your smile is cleaner than ever. Thanks, Dr. 
Dr. Gomez. My smile feels super clean, and now I know it's super healthy. And it's extra bright, too. And thank you, little gators, for coming along to the dentist with me. We sure learned a lot about keeping our teeth super clean and healthy. Now it's your turn, little gators. Yay! Looking good. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hiya, little gators. Today I'm going to Combo's house to play some video games. Woohoo! But first, let's turn on the TV and see what the weather is like. This is Peck the Penguin live on the scene. Today we're expecting clear skies with a small chance of rain. So if you're going to be outside, you might want to bring an umbrella just to be safe. <laughs> You heard it, little gators. It might rain today, so I better bring my umbrella just in case. Oh, popsicles! There's been a change in the weather forecast. Now we're expecting heavy winds in the area. Oh, gosh! Whoa! <laughs> I am so excited to play video games at Combo. I haven't been to his house in forever. What a nice breeze. Mom rats. It looks like the winds are getting stronger. What do you think, little gators? Is there anything I can do to push through the wind? Good idea. I'll use my umbrella as a shield to block the wind while I walk. Whoa, these winds are getting really strong. Oh no, the winds are getting stronger. I can barely walk! Oh no! The wind's about to blow Gus away! Hey Gus! It's too windy out there! Come inside! It's off Alexa! Okay! I'm on my way! I'm sure glad you spotted me outside, Alpha! I thought I was gonna fly away! No problem, Gus! I'm just happy you're safe! Good news, everyone. The heavy winds have passed, and it's safe to go out again. <laughs> Did you hear that, Alpha? The winds have stopped, and now I can keep walking to Combo's house. That's Alpha awesome. I have to walk fast. He's waiting for me. Bye. Bye, Gus. This is Peck the Penguin with breaking news. There's been a change in the weather. The chance of rain has now become heavy rains with a chance of floods. Whoa. Whoa. Heavy rains? Oh no! Gus forgot his umbrella too! Oh no! He's already gone! This is a catastrophe! Those winds were really strong, weren't they, little gators? I'm sure glad Alpha Alexa let us inside until the weather cleared back up. Whoa! Was that thunder? Oh no! I forgot my umbrella at Alpha's house! What am I gonna do? Oh, rats! The water's rising so fast! I can't walk on the sidewalk! Oh no! Is that a shark lurking in the water? I need to get out of here! Ah! Oh, hey, little dude! What's going on? Whoa! It's you, Gil! I was so scared for a second! I was just trying to get to Combo's house, but I can't walk in this flood water! What do you think I should do, little gators? That's right, little gators! This probably forgot. You're an alligator, dude. You were born to swim. No, rats. <laughs> How did I forget something like that? Let's get out of here. Sweet. Let's go. Check out the gill skills. We did it, Gil. We swam through the floodwaters. Thanks for reminding me I was such a great swimmer. No problem, Gussie. Glad I could help. I have to get home now. But good luck getting to Combo's house. Bye. Bye, Gil. This is Peck the Penguin with more breaking news. The weather is changing again. Rainwaters have dropped, and now we're expecting a heavy blizzard to come our way. So stay inside. Oh no! I gotta go warn Gus! Oh no! Looks like I missed him. Oh man, I hope he's okay. Wow, little gators! 
That was crazy swimming in the water like that. Now I can keep walking to Combo's house to play video games. It's starting to get cold. What? It's snowing, little gators. The snow covered me up. I'm super late. I gotta keep going. Ah! Wow, as you can see, we sure are experiencing some crazy weather today. If you plan on going outside, be careful not to accidentally slip on the ice. Wow, I can't stop where I'm going. Ah! Whoa! Pack. I was just trying to hurry to get to Kamo's house, and I ended up slipping on the ice. It's okay, Gus. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Oh, rats. Sorry again, Peck. Oh, I have an idea. We can give you a lift in our news van. Your van? That's a great idea, Peck. Looking good. Oh, no, Peck. Looks like your van is covered in snow. I don't think we can drive it. Popsicles, you're right. Wait, I've got it. This is how penguins get around in Antarctica. We can slide like this. <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> what do you think, little gators? Do you think we could slide on the ice like Peck? You're right! We can totally do it! Come on, Gus! Last one to the bottom of the sidewalk is a rotten gummy! Yeah! Woo! Woohoo! Woohoo! We're going so fast! <laughs> Woohoo! We made it all the way to the bottom! Looking good! Yeah, Gus! That sure was fun! Yeah! Blah, blah, blah. The sun's finally coming out. Oh, Popsicles, quick, Mo, get the camera. We have to report the breaking news to everyone. <laughs> this is Peck the Penguin, live from the scene with more breaking news. The sun is finally coming out, and the snow is beginning to melt. Let's hope this swaggy weather is over. That's all for now. We'll keep you posted with more weather updates. Great job, Peck. I'm so close to Combo's house, and he's waiting for me. See you later. Bye, Gus. Bye. Wow, little gators, that was a crazy weather day. We went through all kinds of weather. First, there was heavy winds. Those were tough. Then, there were heavy rains that caused some flooding. Grab was swimming with Big Gill. And lastly, there was a blizzard we had to get through. Peck, Mo, and I went sledding over the ice. Which one did you think was the toughest to get through, little gators? I thought of that one too. Thank you for watching my show today, little gators. I hope you had fun learning about the weather. We finally made it to Combo's house. Let's start playing some video games. Oh, hey there, Gus. Hi, Mrs. Panda. Combo's waiting for me. Can I please come in? Well, actually, Gus, Combo left a while ago. He said he was going to your house to play some video games. Oh, rats. One, two, three, four, five. Hi there, little gators. I'm at Peck's house today with Sheldon. We've decided to play a fun game of hide and seek. Let's see what kind of fun adventures we get into today. shouldn't have eaten my popsicles when I'm trying to hide. Hey, help me find Sheldon. Okay. Oh gosh, we can't find him anywhere. He is really good at hiding. Are you sure we've searched the whole house? Well, there's the part of the house of the experiment that I'm working on, but 
My mom put a big sign that's supposed to keep people out, so no one would ever go in there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh! Calm down, Peck. We don't know if he went through the rats. What are we gonna do, Gus? His mom is gonna be so mad. And so is my mom, and your mom, and what if he's in trouble, and, and... Is there any way we can know where he went? This computer should tell me how far back he was sent to the dinosaur age. He might have gone there. That means he should be fine. He'll have tons of dino friends. I'm afraid it's not that simple, Gus. He, he had to have gone back at least 66 million years. The dinos of the time were most likely cranky and dangerous. Peck, you're gonna send me back in time. I'm gonna find Sheldon. Oh, gosh! Gus, are you sure this is a good idea? I got this one, Peck. The longer Sheldon is out there, the more trouble he could be in. Okay, well, you'll need this remote. Once you find Sheldon, it should give me a signal, and I'll start the machine up. You got it, Peck. Good luck, Gus. Starting teleportation in three, two, one. Activate! Oh, gosh! I can't believe that worked! Wow! This is amazing! Look at that, little gators. We're in the world of the dinos. Let's look for Sheldon. He couldn't have gotten far. Oh, wow. Something big is coming. Time to hide. What do you think, little gators? He looks like a nice guy. Let's see if he can help me find Sheldon. Excuse me, sir. Could you help me? Hey there, little guy. My name's Branch. My name's Gus. I'm looking for my friend Sheldon. He's red, wears an eggshell, still being potty trained, and this small baby T-Rex. Please, Mr. Branch, is there anything you can do to help me find him? Well, Gus, I think you came to the right dino. Let me take a look. You're so tall. That's right, I'm a Brachiosaurus. My neck is really what gives me all my height here. How tall are you? I'm about 50 feet tall if I stretch my neck and stand on my back legs. That makes me twice as tall as a giraffe. Wow! <laughs> Wait, you said he wears an eggshell? Yes, you found him? I see a tiny red dino in the distance. If you follow the path through that ridge, you might be able to catch up with him. Thank you so much, Mr. Branch. You're so helpful and kind. Anytime, little gator. I hope you have a nice day, Mr. Branch. Bye! Okay, little gators. According to Branch, Sheldon must be past that ridge. Let's go! And look! Footprint! He had to have gone this way. Oh, no! Is there an earthquake? I gotta run! Oh, no! This is the way I have to take to find Sheldon. What am I supposed to do now? Excuse me, can you help me? My name is Gus. Oh, well, hello there. I'm looking for my friend Sheldon. It's a baby T-Rex. Red, where's an eggshell? He came this way, have you seen him? I'm sorry, Gus, but I haven't. Seems like I made quite a ruckus with my big old stomping. <laughs> that was you? Huh, I thought it was an earthquake. But I'll tell you what, I, I can move it for you. You can? That's great! How will you do that, though? With my hordes, of course. They definitely come in handy to protect myself when I see a T-Rex come around. Yes, please. Help me move this rock. You got it. Now stand back. Ugh. Looking good. The path is clear. I can totally follow Sheldon. I hope you find your friend. See ya. And be careful. Excuse me, what's going on here? It's the Jurassic Cup. Dinosaurs compete for the title of fastest dino. Wow, that sounds like fun. Out of all the dinos here, Velociraptors are the fastest. I have a question though. Have you seen my friend Sheldon? He's a baby T-Rex. Red, where's an eggshell? Hmm, I don't think so, but I think I know of a place where you might be able to find him. Really? Where is that? Not so fast. If I help you, you have to help me. Um, all right. How do I do that? Let's race. If you beat me, I'll tell you where he might be. You're on. Let's do it, little gators. First one to cross the finish line wins. You got it. I win!
win, I win, I win, I win! Oh, rat. Good job. But I guess you're not telling me where my friend is. I'll tell you guys. You did me a favor, so it's only fair. Oh, really? There's a dinosaur village over the cliff. My mom always told me that if I ever got lost, I should go there. There's grown-up dinos that can help us find our parents. Maybe that's where he went. I hope we get to race in the Jurassic Cup someday. See ya. Bye, guys. Take care. It was nice meeting you. All right, little gators. I really hope Sheldon is down there. Whoa. Oh no! Help! Somebody help me! Well, thank you so much, Mr. Dino. My name's Gus. You saved me. Well, it's nice to meet you, Gus. You can call me Terry. You have to be careful walking around. Earthquakes are a common occurrence nowadays. Yeah, I've noticed. Say, why do you look different than all the other dinos? That's because I'm not actually a dinosaur. I'm actually more of a flying lizard. A pterosaur, or prehistoric bird. But everyone puts me in the same category as dinos. And to be honest, I don't mind. Well, that's pretty cool. I've never seen a flying lizard. Could you do me a favor, Mr. Terry? Sure, Gus. I'm trying to find my friend Sheldon. He's a baby T-Rex. Red, wears an eggshell. Have you seen him? Actually, I think I have. He was headed for the dinosaur village. It's not very far from here. I can take you there if you like. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Let's go. Thank you, Terry. You're welcome, Gus. I hope you found your friend. Okay, little gators. You must be around here somewhere. Let's look around and... <laughs> oh no! That must be Sheldon! It came from that way! He needs help, little gators! Dora, my friend, please! Hurt him? Oh, no, no, no! I'm trying to help him! I think he's hurt! Oh, wow! That's a relief! You just look so scary. No offense. Yeah, that's the impression I give most people. It's my powerful jaw and big teeth. <coughs> They're great for biting through anything, though. So, quite handy. I just want to help. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. Are you okay, Sheldon? Uh, I'm the doctor for the village. My name's Rita. Well, hi, Rita. I'm Gus. This is my friend Sheldon. We've been looking all over for him. I'm glad you found each other, Gus. Thank you so much. I've learned so much today. Really? How about a pop quiz then? If you can answer most of my questions correctly, you can take your friend and go. Sounds fun. Wait, what if I get them wrong? <laughs> well, then he'll have to stay here with me until his mom comes to get him. Hang on one sec. What do you think, Shell? We can't get your mom here if I get them wrong. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, Gus, since you say you're from the future, how far in time did you have to travel back to get here? A, 10 minutes, B, 1 million years, or C, 66 million years? Oh, man. Peck mentioned this, but I wasn't paying attention. Is it B, 1 million years? Ooh, that's incorrect, Gus. The correct answer is 66 million years. Right. Next question. Which of the following has the longest neck? A, giraffe, B, brachiosaurus, or C, elephant? I know this one. B, brachiosaurus. Good job. That's correct, Gus. Next question, what do Triceratops use their horns for? A, playing sports, B, protection, or C, playing music? Oh no, I, I remember this one, I think. A, playing sports? <laughs> That's incorrect, Gus. The correct answer is B, for protection. Rats. Okay, let's see if you know this one. Which of these dinosaurs runs the fastest? A, Triceratops, B, Brachiosaurus, or C, Velociraptor? It has to be C, the Velociraptor. That's correct. Best little things, aren't they? Oh, yeah. 
All right, Gus, the final question. What type of species is also known as flying lizards? A, a mammal, B, a dinosaur, or C, a pterosaur? Oh, rats. Think, Gus, flying lizard. They are C, pterosaur. That's correct, Gus. You got three out of five correct. Good job. Woohoo! <laughs> Want to answer one more just for fun? Like a... Oh, a bonus question! Sure! What are T-Rexes like me known for? A, being sneaky. B, a powerful bite. Or C, eating plants. Well, I remember you looking scary, but you're so nice. And with your teeth, plants seem boring. So, B, you're known for a powerful bite. Good job, Gus. You got that one right, too. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Rita. All right. You guys can go home. Come in, Peck. Can you hear me? Gus, Gus, is that you? Yeah, Peck. I found Sheldon. We're ready to go home. Oh, that's so great. I was so worried. My mom came home, and I told her that you... We need to get home right now! Oh gosh, that sounds bad. Ooh, you kids, you need to get out of here now! Peck, we need to go now! Oh gosh, oh here goes nothing! Action! Oh, we made it! Oh gosh, I was so worried. Well that was quite an adventure, right little gators? I want to hear all about it! Oh boys, your parents are here to pick you up! Oh darn. I guess I'll tell you about it another time, Peck. Wait! Are you going to help me clean my room? Well, I hope you had fun watching our show, little gators. And I hope you learned a lot about all the dino friends we met along the way. Bye! Bye. Ooh, look at this Valentine's Day card. It has a lollipop attached to it. Wow, and mine came with a chocolate bar. Hi there, little gators. It's Valentine's Day at my school, and we're checking out all the cards we got. Whoa! Look at this card, little gators. It's blue, which is different from the Valentine's Day reds and pinks. Should we open it, little gators? Yeah, let's see what's inside. Woohoo! Let's check it out. Guys, I have a huge Valentine's Day treat, but you have to find me first. The first clue is in your hands, but out of place. Once it's returned, the next clue will be in front of your face. It sounds like we're going on a Valentine's Day scavenger hunt. Let's go! The card said the first clue is in your hands, Gus. Um, I don't see any clues in your hands, Gus. It's the card, Gus. It's shaped like a Valentine's Day card, and it's in your hands. Maybe that's the clue. You're right, Peck. So if that's the first clue, and it's out of place, we need to return it to get the next clue. Uh, does anyone see anything wrong with this map? There's a piece of the map missing, Gus. I think that's where the heart-shaped card needs to go. Woohoo! You're right, Peck. Let's return it for the next clue. Now you must name all five oceans for the pieces needed to complete the next Valentine's Day surprise. We learned about oceans in our social studies class. I know there's a Pacific Ocean and there's an Atlantic Ocean. So that's two, little gators. And everyone knows that the Southern Ocean surrounds my home in Antarctica. So that's another one. Do you know the names of other oceans, little gators? The Indian Ocean? Great job! I forgot about that one. Uh, I know the last one that you're missing. It's the Arctic Ocean. That should be all five, Gus. Check it out, little gators. I think these are the pieces we'll need for the next part of the hunt. Look, Gus. There's a clue behind this heart. Now that you found us, where do we go? We are all different shapes and sizes, but when combined, we feel whole. When you combine things to make them whole, it's like solving a math problem. These pieces fit together somewhere, Gus. Over here, Gussie. This is where we learn about different shapes and combining pieces. I think we need to fill each pattern with the correct piece, Gus. What do you think, little gators? What shape do you think the outline shows? That's right! The first outline is a circle, and the second is a square! 
Let's put the pieces where they match. Looking good. But what about the heart shape? All we have are these three pieces left over. Do you have any ideas, little gators? That's right, little gators. We have to combine the pieces to make them whole. And those three pieces can make a heart shape, Gus. Woohoo! That's right! If we turn the square and put one half circle on each side, we can make a heart shape. Woohoo! Let's check it out. I crawl, then I fly, but I never run. The sooner you find me, the sooner you will have more Valentine's Day fun. I have no clue what that means. Gus! I think the clue is about an insect. Let's go to the butterfly tank. First, butterflies crawl as caterpillars, and then they fly. We learn about this during science class. Look at that, little gators. It's a beautiful Valentine's Day butterfly. Hi, Gus. I have a Valentine's Day surprise for you. Woohoo! You do? <laughs> Follow me! Mo, is that you? Blah, 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 blah. I should have known it was you that sent me the best friend Valentine's Day card. Thank you so much, Mo. You're my best friend, too. Oh, popsicles. Sorry for taking so long, Mo. You left some really good clues for us to solve. First, using the Valentine's Day card as the missing piece of the world map? That was genius! Blah, 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 blah. Then using the different shapes to build a Valentine's Day heart? Our little gators helped us with that one big time! Blah, blah, blah. And then Peck remembered learning about butterflies crawling and flying! So we finally found the Valentine's Day butterfly just as it was about to fly away! Yeah. Great job, everybody! And you too, little gators! I hope you had fun with us on our Valentine's Day! Who's your Valentine this year? Woohoo! You can be my Valentine too! Thanks for watching! See you next time! Bye! Hiya, little gators! Today we're at the beach to build some sandcastles! <laughs> oh no! The beach is covered with so much litter! What should we do? Hey Gus! Uh, did I hear you say you want to build some sandcastles? Whoa! Hey Big Gil! Yeah, I really wanted to, but the beach is covered with litter and I don't have any space to play! You're right, dude! There's so much trash on the beach! I really wish I could get help to recycle everything. Did you say recycle? What does that mean? Come on, Gussie. I'll show you. Time to teach you about recycling, Gus. Recycling is the process of changing waste into reusable material. So I can turn old food into gummies? <laughs> Not quite, little dude. Recycling only works with materials like plastic, glass, metal, and paper. Oh, I get it. We use these recycle bins to sort each material. Here, we use yellow for plastic, green for glass, red for metal, and blue for paper. Cool! I think we can all help with recycling, Big Gil. Aw, oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look, it's a soda can. Hey, little gators. Is this soda can made of plastic, glass, metal, or paper? You got it right! It's metal! Good job! This goes into the metal recycling bin. Way to go, Gus! You just helped the beach get a little cleaner. Looking good! Here's another soda can, Gus. Hold on! Where did you get this can from? From inside the ocean, Gus. There's litter on the beach and in the water. Come on, let me show you. are covered in waste. This is where some of the waste from the beach goes. These plastics are hurting the coral reefs and keeping them from growing healthy. Wow, Gil, 
I didn't know there was so much trash in the ocean. Yeah, these plastics are non-biodegradable. Non-biode... Uh, what did you say? Non-biodegradable. This means it can't be broken down naturally and can cause pollution in the environment. I didn't know that. What about you, little gators? Did you know what non-biodegradable means? That's awesome! Let's pick up this litter so we can help the coral reefs grow strong and healthy. Yay! We picked up all the plastic litter from the coral reef. Looking good, Gil. Aw, oh, yeah. Check out the Gil skills. Help! Help! Somebody please help! Did you hear that, Gil? Somebody needs our help. Let's go! Look, Gil, it's Tommy the turtle. Hi, Gus. I'm so glad you made it. I was just looking for a snack when suddenly I got stuck inside this piece of trash. Now I can't swim right and I can't get out. Don't worry, little dude. We'll get you out. Hey, little gators. Is this soda can ring made of plastic, glass, metal, or paper? You're right. It's plastic. Good job! Woohoo! I'm free! Thanks for helping me out, Gus! I owe you one! No problem, Tommy! Glad we could help! That's what friends do! Gus, we should swim back to the shore and clean up more over there! You're right, Gil! Bye, Bye Tommy! Bye! We made it to the surface! Let's go put all these materials back in their bins! Recycling. Aw, oh, yeah. We'll be finished cleaning up this beach fast, Gil. And then we'll have room to toss around the beach ball. Oh man. What was that? Whoa. Is that a glass bottle? Yeah, Gus. These are sometimes hidden deep in the sand. If you're not careful, you can really hurt yourself. Wow, Gil. Thanks for the warning. I'll put that bottle in the recycling bin so no one gets hurt. Hey, little gators. What is this bottle made out of? Plastic, glass, metal, or paper. Good job! It's glass. Whoa! Where did that trash come from? I think it came from that way. Let's go check it out. Hey, it's Mo! What are you doing here? You're having a picnic? Sounds fun, Mo. But why are you throwing your junk everywhere? <laughs> Any waste left on the beach can go into the ocean, and this will affect all sea creatures. Plastic waste affects animals like fish, sea turtles, birds, and even sharks like me! <laughs> Don't worry, Mo. Gil and I will help you clean up. <laughs> Hey, little gators, is Mo's food bag made of plastic, glass, metal, or paper? That's right, it's paper. Looking good. Wow, that was a lot of fun recycling all those materials, and I really learned a lot. Did you really? I'm going to give you a quiz to see how much you really learned. A quiz? Let's do it! First question, Gus. Which type of material cannot be recycled? Is it A, glass, B, paper, or C, trash can full of old food? Hmm. I know. C, a trash can full of old food. Correct, Gus. Way to go. Time to teach you about recycling, Gus. Recycling is the process of changing waste into reusable material. So I can turn old food into gummies? <laughs> Not quite, little dude. Recycling only works with materials like plastic, glass, metal, and paper. Oh, I get it. Okay, Gus. Next question. Which of these materials is non-biodegradable? Is it A, plastic, B, apples, or C, plants. Hmm. 
Is it B, apples? Oh, sorry, dude. The correct answer is A, plastic. Wow, rats. Wow, Gil, I didn't know there was so much trash in the ocean. Yeah, these plastics are non-biodegradable. Non-biode... Uh, what did you say? Non-biodegradable. This means it can't be broken down naturally and can cause pollution in the environment. I didn't know that. Time for question three, Gus. Where should you put recyclable materials? Is it A, the ocean, B, recycle bin, or C, mom's purse? Hmm. That's easy. B, the recycling bin. Correct, Gus. Good job. We use these recycle bins to sort each material. Here, we use yellow for plastic, green for glass, red for metal, and blue for paper. Cool. I think we can all help with recycling, Big Gil. OK, Gus. Time for the final question. Are you ready? Ready. How does plastic waste affect ocean life? Is it A, it makes them feel better, B, it makes them feel worse, or C, it reads them a bedtime story? Hmm. B, it makes them feel worse. Congratulations, Gus. You passed the quiz. Aw, yeah. Looking good. Let's pick up this litter so we can help the coral reefs grow strong and healthy. Yay! We picked up all the plastic litter from the coral reef. Looking good, Gil. Look, Gil. It's Tommy the turtle. Hi, Gus. I'm so glad you made it. I was just looking for a snack when suddenly I got stuck inside this piece of trash. Now I can't swim right and I can't get out. Don't worry, little dude. We'll get you out. Woohoo! I'm free! Thanks for helping me out, Gus. I owe you one. No problem, Tommy. Glad we could help. That's what friends do. Way to go, little dude. I knew you could do it. Thanks for teaching me all those things about recycling. Hey, now that the beach is all cleaned up, let's go build some sand castles! Woo! Whoa! Check out our sand castle! It's huge! Yeah, it's almost as tall as me! Wow, little gators! We sure learned a lot about recycling and protecting the environment. We even got to go underwater to help protect our friends! Do you want to start recycling too? Looking good. Thanks for watching my show today, little gators. We're going to keep playing in the sand. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Good play. out of breath. <sighs> I'm okay, Alpha. I just haven't exercised in a while and I'm already out of breath. Oh, I see. Not exercising for a long time will affect how long you can run. Don't worry, Gus. I love exercise. I can show you some exercise tips if you'd like. You would do that for me? Let's do it! Okay, Gus. It's time to try our first exercise. Running! Running? Oh, but I don't like running. The last time I was running, I, I ran out of breath. Aw, come on, Gus. I believe in you. 
Running is good for you because it makes your heart stronger and helps you build up your breathing. Okay, Alpha. I can at least give it a try. Alpha, awesome! Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Whoa, Alpha! You're super fast! Come on, Gus! You can do it! I can do it! I can do it! Come on, Gus! Soon you'll be as fast as Red Titan! As fast as Red Titan? That sounds awesome! Here I come, Alpha! Whoa! Gus, you flew right past me! Woohoo! I made it, little gators! <sighs> wow, Gus! You did great on your first day back to exercising! I've never seen you run that fast! Thanks, Alpha! I believed in myself, and my legs kept getting faster and faster! I don't know about you, Alpha, but I'm super thirsty! I'm sure glad I brought this water bottle! Good thinking, Gus. It's very important to stay hydrated while we exercise. It is? Why do you think it's so important to stay hydrated, little gators? It keeps you cool, Gus. It cools you off, Gus. Oh, but awesome! You're right, little gators. It helps your body stay cool, especially on these super hot days. <sighs> that was so refreshing. I feel like I'm beginning to cool down already. Come on, Gus. Let's start walking to cool off even more. Let's do it! <sighs> Be one with nature. Hey, Gus, look! It's Peck the Penguin! Hi, Peck! <laughs> what are you doing over here? Uh, well, I was practicing my yoga pose until someone interrupted me. Oh, rats. I'm sorry, Peck. I didn't know you were trying to focus. What is yoga anyway? Yoga is a type of exercise that involves breathing and holding certain poses to relax the body. Uh, I don't get it. I was working on my new pose and it was very peaceful. Would you both like to try it out? Absolutely, Peck. That would be Alpha Awesome! First step is to close your eyes and clear your mind. Next, take a deep breath. <sighs> now, raise your hands to the side and become one with nature. Rats. Oh no, Gus! Are you okay? Oh gosh, Gus. What happened? I was holding my yoga pose, but then my mind started thinking about gummies! And I lost my balance. Sounds like somebody needs to focus more on their pose instead of gummies. <laughs> <laughs> wow! The day was so much fun! First we learned why running is a good way to exercise. That's right, Gus! Running strengthens your heart and helps you improve your breathing. Oh, oh, and then we'll learn about yoga too, Gus. You have to clear your mind and focus on holding your pose. You're both right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> no problem, Gus. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Gus. Are you going to start exercising too, little gators? Yeah, totally. You're not, Gus. Looking good. Thanks for watching my show, little gators! Bye! Bye.